I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your prenatal Pilates workout. So in this workout, we're gonna be all on the mat, and we're gonna do some strengthening and stretching exercises that are great during pregnancy, whether in your first, second, or third trimester. As always, please make sure that you have been cleared by your doctor to exercise before you begin this or any other workout program and make sure that you're monitoring your intensity level and listening to your body. So in pregnancy, we always wanna make sure if something feels like too much, we take a break, we listen to the cues that our body is giving us. So also make sure that you're staying hydrated throughout this workout. Okay, so we're gonna be down on the mat. We'll start right here. So we're gonna start, you're just gonna start on your knees. We're gonna start with a little child's pose stretch. So just reach back. So we're just gonna kinda of get our body warm reach those fingertips forward and just sit back as far as is comfortable. If you're like me, I'm almost in my seventh, seventh month. I don't have a ton of space there. So I'm just kind of reaching as much as I can, trying to get the stretch through it. And then we're going to make this a little strengthening exercise. We're going to bring it up and reach those hands up. So it's a little stretch back. And then we're going to use those hamstrings and glutes to bring it up. So really think that your power is coming from here. So reach back and then up and sit. So make sure that we're not just bending and folding at the waist. We really wanna squeeze through these glutes and hamstrings. So we're here and big reach and we'll go one more just like that. Down and reach up. And then let's come on all fours. So we're here and we're just gonna do very gentle cat to camel rolls. We're not extending very much through the spine at all. So you almost can't even tell that I'm moving but I'm just getting a little movement through that spine. Again, both strengthening and stretching. And breathe. And one more. Good, and we're gonna go one more thing with that sitting back into those heels. So we're gonna sit back again. This time, bring those arms behind, and we're gonna cross in front. And then arms behind, and cross in front. So I'm opening up in my chest, getting that stretch. Also, as you can tell, our heart rates get up a little bit easier in pregnancy. If this bothers your knees at all, you just take a little stretch break. You can stay in that cat to cow, or you can stay um, in the child's pose. But if you can here, we're strengthening through the hips, glutes and hamstrings, crossing those arms for chest and shoulders, couple more, and breathe, and last one and breathe and then one more time sit back into that child's pose and breathe excellent guys so we're going to stay here we're going to stay on all fours really great exercise for pregnancy or any time we're going to do the bird dog so hands beneath the shoulders knees beneath the hips opposite arm opposite leg we're just going to lengthen and bring it back down so you're really stretching long from your fingertips to your toes reach and back reach and back so really making sure that I'm not arching that neck up or letting it drop down too much I want to stay in that neutral spine so I'm stretching through my back as I also strengthen lower back glutes and hamstrings upper back and shoulders and breathe and we'll go just a few more just like this four, and back, and three, and two, one more right here, and relax. So sit back, take a little break. We're gonna stay on all fours, we're gonna isolate a little bit of glutes. So we're back here, let's just extend one leg out, I'm gonna flex the foot, and I'm just gonna lift and lower. So I'm not arching my back, I'm not going super high, not leaning forward into it, I'm just here, to here, lift and lower. Squeezing in the glute, getting all through the back, but in a nice gentle way that's not gonna overstress my already overstressed joints. Last four, four, and breathe. Three, two, and I'm gonna hold this up, and this I'm gonna cross it over the back and up and down. So I'm going up, Cross over, up, and down. So again, strengthening the glutes, and then just being in this position, guys, 
this is working our core. So in pregnancy, we know we can't do a lot of core exercises, but we do want to maintain a strong core as much as we can without putting too much pressure on that abdomen that's already stretching and pulling from the baby. Last two, and one more right here. Flex, and then let's just hold this one up, little baby pulses. Already feel that glute, right? Four, three, two, and relax. Just kind of sit to that side. So the nice thing when we're in that position, we don't want to be holding too many planks when we get into, especially into that third trimester, because there's so much pressure already. But by being on our hands and knees, we're strengthening the core just by being in that position. So let's go same thing, other side. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Flex that foot. We're gonna start just lift and lower. Pretty basic, but we feel it because they're tiny little isolated movements. Squeezing in that glute, maintaining a nice tight core. Knees giving us good support. And we'll go four more. Four and three two, last one right here, and then let's cross it over. So we're gonna go up, cross over, up and down. Not a, notice I'm not turning in my hips or my torso. I'm still staying square into the mat. I'm just moving through that glute and hamstring, keeping that foot flex for extra contraction. And we'll go four more like this. Four, breathe, and three, Excellent, guys. Last two. Looking good. One more. And then we'll hold it at the top. Little pulses. Squeeze. Not super high. For four, three, two, and relax. Stretch it back to that side. Good work, guys. So let's go ahead and come down onto our side. So side planks are such a good thing to do in pregnancy. So we're not, again, putting too much pressure on the abs, but we can keep the core strong. So we're gonna do it with those knees in. So we're gonna come up and hold here, so elbows beneath the shoulder. If you're feeling good, maybe you're in that first trimester, so you're not <clears throat> feeling too much of the weight yet, you can go ahead and come up on both feet, totally up to you. If you're like me, you're a little further along, you can stay on those knees. So we're just holding here. We've got about 10 more seconds, keep breathing. Elbow is directly beneath the shoulder, so we're not putting pressure in the shoulder. Hand can be up or hand can be down, and relax. So let's stay here, and we're just gonna do a lift, little lift and lower at the hip. Here we go. Just up and down. We can keep it small. Don't feel like you have to go super high. This hand, again, can be here for balance, or if you wanna open it up, that works too. There we go, keep breathing. Excellent work, guys. We've got four more to go. Four, again, small movement, but doesn't take much to feel it. Three, two, and one. Excellent work, guys. Good. So bring it up so you get a little stretch, get that pressure off the shoulder, and we're actually gonna come up on our knee and come into that hand. So we're gonna extend that leg out. I'm gonna reach it up and over, and I'm gonna pull that knee. So it's a little bit in front, not too much to the side. Pull it in and down. So I've got my hand, again, directly beneath the shoulder, but we're up on the hands instead. And I'm pulling it in. So abs are working, again, without pressure on the abdomen, but we're also getting obliques and outer thighs, as you can feel. Squeeze. And we'll go two more. Two, last one and stay here if you can, flex that foot. We're just gonna lift and lower, up and down. Starts to feel like too much at any point, you just take a break as you need to. Listen to your body and breathe. There we go, outer thigh and glute. And we'll go last three and two and one, good. So let's stay on this side. We're gonna take it all the way down. So up to you, you can be on that elbow or take it all the way down and rest the head. I'm gonna stay on the elbow just so you can see me a little bit better. 
Now we're gonna take that top leg lifted up, point that toe, and we're just gonna do little tiny circles to the front. You know this from Pilates. Small little drawing of circles, and let's reverse our direction. Small to the back. There we go, isolating those hips. And let's go back to the front, a little bit bigger with that circle. So you're still not moving very much except through the hip. Just drawing the circle a little bigger and then take it to the back. There we go, bigger circle. Four, three, two, and then one more time. We're gonna take it to the front, a little bit bigger, but again, just moving through the leg. Four, three, two, and one more time to the back. Should feel that burn, I know I do. Woo! For four, three, two, and relax. Good, roll that forward. You can kind of beat out on that muscle if you need to. So then we're gonna open that back leg out, take that lower leg, flex that foot, and let's just do a little inner thigh lift. Just lift and lower. So from this position, we're engaging our core, we're working our abs, we're just getting the inner thighs isolated as well. And breathe, good guys. Up. And we'll go two more, two. And then let's point the toe, let's do little tiny circles, inner thighs, we won't do as many. Four, three, two, and then we'll reverse your direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Good guys, so very carefully push yourself up from the side. Remember in pregnancy, we wanna make sure we're getting up from the side, using our arms and not our abs, and we'll slowly take it over other side. So everything on this side, we'll start with those side planks. So I'm gonna do my knees are stacked. Again, if you're feeling good, you wanna come up on the feet, you can. Bring it all the way down, and we're just gonna start just lift up and hold. So elbow directly beneath the shoulder, arm can be up, arm can be down, doesn't matter. Just lifting that hip, keeping everything strong through the center. If you feel too much pressure, just take a break. It's totally up to you. We got about five seconds to go. Four, three, two, relax it down. So we're gonna stay in this position. We're just gonna do a lift and lower of the hips. Again, trying not to push, but have this hand here if you need it. Here we go. So just up and down. And breathe. Little lift, using the obliques, tight through the core. Breathe. Good work, guys. Almost there. Last two, right here. Two. And one, good, and relax. Excellent, so come up off that shoulder. We're gonna come up on the knee and the hand, so just very carefully. Knee down, extend that opposite leg, and then lean on that hand, and then reach over, pull it into the front. I'm gonna tap it down in between, but if you're feeling strong, you can extend it out here. There we go. Excellent work, guys. A lot of things working here to stabilize. Stabilization exercises are really gonna keep your core strong in pregnancy. It's the way to work our core when we're here. Last two, two, and one more. Good, rest that arm down, flex that foot. We're just gonna lift and lower, up and down. Abs pulled in. It's a little tough when those joints are getting achy. It's really important to keep moving, even if we're just taking a walk. It's so helpful, guys, I promise. Even when all we wanna do is be in bed, last two, and get a little bit of activity, our bodies feel so much better. Good, guys, and relax. Excellent, let's take it all the way down. So we're here again. You can extend that arm out and be all the way down or up on the elbow like I'm gonna be. And let's take that top leg, point the toe, circles to the front. Start really small. My hips are stacked, I'm in good alignment. And then circles to the back. Small little leg circles. Outer thigh and glute. Four, three, two. Let's take it a little bigger to the front. Reach. Go. Four, three, two. 
a little bigger to the back. Excellent work, guys. Ooh, four, three, two, and then let's make it one more turn to the front. Bigger circle, again, just in the legs, not moving my upper body. Four, three, two, other side. I don't know why the second side always feels so much harder, right? Woo, four, three, two, and relax. Roll that forward, just kind of beat out on that muscle. You can do it. Good, guys, rotate that foot back. Flex that foot in front and inner thigh. Just lift and lower, up and down. Rotating that knee out should give you a little stretch through that hip. There we go. We're getting close to the end. This is not a long workout. Just enough to strengthen and stretch. Last two, breathe, and one. Good, let's point that toe. Little tiny circles to the front, not very many. Four, three, two, and then circle to the back. Good, this one's a little tougher to get that good circle. Four, three, two, and relax. Good guys, so just come up slowly. And we're just gonna turn into a seated position. So starting with just a little quick stretch, reach underneath, round the back, and we're just here. So from here, guys, we're just gonna do a little isometric hold. So just stabilizing in the center. Imagine that you're really hugging your baby in. I'm just gonna take those arms out. It's up to you. If you wanna lean back just a bit, you can. If you wanna stay upright, that's totally fine too. Do what feels better for you. If you're in those earlier weeks, you might be able to lean back a little more. You've got a little more weight there, a little less Feeling good in the back? Then stay up here. We're just holding. We're gonna breathe just about five, four, three, two, and relax. Knees out. So those are really good to do no matter where you are, just holding everything in. So again, you're working your abs, but without that contraction. Once we get into that second and third trimester, we don't wanna do any ab contraction, any crunches, and we don't wanna do anything flat on our back. So speaking of, we're gonna come down on our elbows. So you're just gonna slowly lower down. So this way we stay a little bit elevated. If that's not comfortable for you, you can go ahead and put maybe two stacked pillows or one really big pillow underneath your lower back and your upper back. That's gonna help. But if you can, just be right here with your hands. And from here, we're just gonna lift one knee at a time. So very gentle, engaging the core, but not a lot of pressure. So you're starting with this. If this feels okay, watch me, we're gonna take it up. We're gonna go up, up, down, down, and then switch your lead leg. So if that feels like too much in any way, you just keep the one knee at a time and go in as far as is comfortable for you. But if you can, right, left, right, left, and then left, right, left, right. Just a couple more, just like this. There we go. Up, up, good. And we'll go one more each side, whichever variation you're doing. Last one. And relax, good. So one more thing from here. Keep holding yourself here, flex that foot. We're gonna scoop it up, knee in and out. Scoop, knee in and out. So reading the movement through the hips, and then the motion of some very familiar exercises that you do when you're doing mat Pilates flat on your back. Since we can't stay flat, we're gonna stay up a little, have a little more support. Three, there we go. Two, you feel those abs working and you definitely feel those hips and hip flexors, right? So let's switch sides. Other legs staying supported, scoop up, bring it in, knee comes through. And breathe. Good work, guys, we're almost done. We're just gonna do some stretching. There we go, and four, three, two, one more, good. Let's roll to our side, and then very carefully, bring it up for a little stretch. So let's bring those knees out to the side, 
Take a deep breath in and just press out gently. Those hips worked hard and just let your head drop into it. So don't feel like you have to go super far. If you wanna lean into it a little bit, if that feels okay, go for it. Otherwise, we're just pressing out gently on the knees. You can even move those feet a little further out if that feels better. Here we go. Big deep breaths in, let your head drop so you get that neck stretch. Good, guys, and then let's reach one arm over. So just over, turn to the front so you can see. I believe it'll stretch you the side again, let your head drop into it. So if you need more, certainly feel free to start this video over and you can get everything again. Hopefully you felt pretty good. The goal with this Pilates workout is that you will feel some strengthening, you'll get things moving, and you'll feel a little bit of a stretch. Remember in pregnancy, our goals are not to be the fittest person. We just want to stay active and healthy and deliver a healthy baby, right? So let's take those feet out in front. Whew, flex the feet. You're going to feel that stretch there and then reach up and just fold over as best you can. Not super far. Just breathe into it. This is about as far as I can go, but we're going to be really tight through here. So we want to kind of stretch those if we can and breathe. Couple more. And last thing, let's bring it up. So I'm gonna put my hands behind and I'm just gonna cross one leg over. So if this feels like too much for you, don't worry about it. You just stay in a seated stretch. But if you can pull it in and then kind of inch that lower leg in, press the top knee away from your body. So you should feel a good hip stretch. You can also do this from a seated position, seated in a chair. Just bring that leg up and feel that stretch through the hip flexor. Our hips get so tight in pregnancy. So it's really important to keep them open. Because again, it's our labor position, right? This. So we want to make sure they don't get too tight. Let's go other leg, cross it over. And then as much as you can, walk that foot in. One side's usually a little bit tighter, right? So keep breathing. And then put that down. Back to center, push up from your hands. Big deep breath in. Reach to the top and down. We'll go one more time. Breathe. And down. And that was your prenatal Pilates workout. Great job, everybody.